So welcome back all of you and then uh, we are into the next day session on this uh, fusion order management implementation. Now we have completed a back-to-back -back buy. Now today we are going to see a back-to-back -back transfer now. So click on share and then go there. Take care of this. Now let us go there and then straight away do it and then afterwards we will now see the attributes and other things on the setup actually. I will open up this order management and then go to the order management and then let me create a sales order. So click on create sales order. So drop down. I will now choose my business unit over here now. So the first thing is you have to choose the business unit and then afterwards populate the customer. Otherwise, the bill to account may not be coming properly. So all of the information are coming. And the bill to account has to come. And afterwards, we go there. Well, now go and then tab it out and then you will now choose the transfer item now. So B2B transfer is, is fully set. I will not show you the attributes and other things afterwards now. So B2B transfer, click account. So I am going to transfer it from 001 to 002. That is what I am going to do. And then I am going to ship it from 002. After having done this, what happens? It has to show you as either out of stock or in stock now. If GOP is not set properly, it will not show at all properly. It will not say if the no data is retrieved. That means what? There is some mistake on your geo setup. If your GOP setup is now mistake, it will not show you like this now. It will not show you a different one now. Uh, data not retrieved. If data not retrieved is coming. That means GOP, there is a problem. Your setup of GOP is a problem. I will not go there. I will not go for the 20 quantities. So it's the sale price is one now. If I click on it, click on add now. So we are adding it now. It has to come as out of stock or in stock actually. You go to this place, click on it now. <clears throat> and then go to the supply and then I will know. I am going to ship it from 00 to R. 00 to R, I am going to ship it. Go there, click on submit. The sales order is now getting submitted. <clears throat> so the number is 97370 is the sales order now. 97370. Go to the actions and then yeah, yeah, the approval pending is coming because they have enabled somewhere and then something is not fully enabled. So it will now go to processing. Actually. So go to actions and then you go to the switch to fulfillment view and then have a look at it now. So go to the fulfillment lines. Since it is a back-to-back -back item, reservation is not applicable at all in a back-to-back -back item. Click on it. So go there. Reservation is not applicable. So the workflow will automatically change based upon the back-to-back -back, uh, add uh, yes is equal to yes on the item attribute. Now. In a back-to-back -back means you will now either buy receive and ship or make receive and ship or transfer receive and ship. So there is no question of reservation coming into future. But the item for a back-to-back -back transfer, the item gets reserved actually. Now it says the request orchestration has started now. Supply request is now complete. I go the pass task has started. Thank click on refresh now. So it's now running. <clears throat> that is completed now. If it is getting struck and then if you are able to correct the problem on it, then we can even run the release pass task to release it actually. If the problem is there and then you have corrected it and then you can, there is no need to recover the order actually. The past task can be completed. I click on refresh now. So you know, supply request is complete. Now it will not go. Shipping clause has started. It will not say awaiting shipping. It will not go to awaiting shipping. So it doesn't go on awaiting shipping. Now you go to the fulfillment lines. And then in the fulfillment lines, what happens? You go there and then click on the supply details. And then now you can see the supply order. Sco order will be coming up now. Yeah. So click on refresh now. It will not be generating the score. It will be pushing it to the interface tables now. Right? So the process supply chain orchestration concurrent is inbuilt actually. It is inbuilt. And so that will be automatically pushing it into the SCO area actually. Whereas in a transfer order, in the inventory transfer orders, we run the process supply chain orchestration tools manually. In a sales order, it is now run automatically actually. In a sales order, the process supply chain inter interface or, uh, orchestration is now automatically. So the supply order gets created. We go there. So the process supply chain orchestration is now automatically running. You right click and then duplicate now. Go there. We will now go on and have a look at the SCO area. So go to the supply chain execution and then go to the supply orchestration now. And remember, there are six roles which are required for this now. Fine. Otherwise, you provide all the six roles. You will not be able to even get the icon and then you cannot do anything at all in this now. Along with that, the GOP is also required. The GOP role is also required. So only when you are able to add the GOP role, then only we can process this like this now. Otherwise, this user cannot process. The user must have the GOP role as well as the six supply chain roles now. And click on it now. Then I'll go to the supply area and go click on it. I will not go there, click on it. I will not go to the manage supply lines and then we go to query on the supply line. So the score number, I am pasting it over here now if I give it that. And then click on search. So you know the effect on it is a transfer actually. Click on it. 
you can now see the transfer recommendation is now there under that one so it is now progressing actually so click on refresh now <coughs> status is in process now together so in logistics it is now saying in logistics supply destination is antada then it will be bringing it from seattle actually seattle is a source organization and remember in vision source to destination all the carriers transit times everything is automatically set now fine vignesh when you are doing it you create your two orgs and then set up the uh, interop transfers now fine so the transfer orders actually then only you will understand it now. otherwise if you use the visions it will be very easy fine i am using it because of laziness actually so source is seattle is 001 and then destination is atlanta is 002 but you create your own and then make a test of it so here you can now see if you go to the buy there won't be any recommendation now if you go to the make there won't be any recommendation if you click on the transfer there will be a recommendation so a document fine it is now created so the transfer order is now created for this now 131048 fine 131048 is the transfer order number if you go to the execution documents you can go on and have a look at it so it has even reserved it also so we we'll now go on and check on the reservation now fine go on and check on the reservation and don't forget we we'll now make a check on the reservation i have sufficient quantity on the source now you know that i will now go to supply chain execution and then i go to the inventory management so i have a sufficient source on the source i have already kept sufficient source now i know that click on it and then i will now go to what manage reservations and picks click on the manage reservations picks and then here uh, i will now put the item and then query now fine k99 underscore b and then give it now back to back transfer actually so is a back to back uh, transfer and click on okay now and then i click on search now you know find a reservation available now fine click on it so as of now it is not showing on the organization 002 fine expand it now and then expand it you can say 20 quantities now reserved fine expand it it says against the sales order now it will not show you against the sales order it is now there fine so this is the reservation number for the sales order actually fine it gets pegged actually fine if you go on and see on the bottom the transfer order is there and that kind of so there is a what's called the document number is what is the transfer order number and then the quantity 20 is not pegged actually it is not pegged actually so 97370 what is this document number i don't understand what is 97370 so here we have one number 97370 maybe the sales order number i think you know so yeah 97370 is a sales order number 97370 is a sales order number so if you go to the manager reservations it shows again the sales order number and then we will now have a look at the source organization whether it is not uh, picked or not fine whether it is duplicate now we will now go to the source organization and then see whether the quantity is not picked against this or not so go to the what's called supply chain execution and then go to the inventory management and then go on and see the item quantities of this one click on it manage item quantities <coughs> so item is k99 underscore b and then we tap now back to back transfer now and click on search now so here expand it now 9900 so yesterday, yesterday evening i was testing for three quantities so the three quantities has got shipped actually so because of which now the stock has come from 10000 to 9987 it goes like on it so click on the view availability view item availability 9997 is there now so you can now see the entire quantity is available to reserve and transact that means what in the source organization it is not picking excessive right only the sales order now available to transact has to come down by 20 it's not coming maybe once when you start to process it you may be getting the quantity coming down now fine available to reserve available to transact is now this much now fine so it should come down for other sales order that has come now i don't know why it's not coming now <coughs> it's not showing you this now <coughs> so we go there and then we are now seeing this something click on refresh now let us now open up a transfer order and then have a look at now fine right click and then we will now duplicate and then have a look at the transfer orders now so you go to the supply chain execution and then go to the inventory management again and then here you are going to have a look at the transfer orders click on it we now go to manage transfer orders and manage transfer orders and then we will now query on this one find the transfer order number now so the transfer order number is 131048 131048 is the one transfer so transfer order number is 131048 so to query a transfer order number you need not be you can be on the source or destination anywhere doesn't matter you can be in anywhere the organization can be anywhere And then make a search now. One three one zero four eight will be coming. It can be anywhere. And then select the line and then click on the view shipments and receipts. You can now see this one. <coughs> so it is now requested for twenty quantities, but nothing has been shipped over here. Nothing has been shipped over here. So we will now go there and then we will now try to ship it now. So right click on the duplicate. So we will now go to ship it now. <coughs> so we will now go there. Now we are going to ship the transfer order. Later on we will now ship the sales order actually. So we are going to transfer it from Bombay to Madras. and then from madras to customer 
So likewise, we all know it now. So click on supply chain exhibition and then you go to the what's called inventory management and then we'll now go to the shipments. So click on it. So now click on it. And then here we go there. I will now go to what shipments now. Shipments and then you go to the manage shipment lines and then query for the shipments and go there. click on it. And now say never days and then put the order number now. Fine. It is a transfer order number you have to put it now. Fine. One zero, uh, what is the number here? Transfer order. <coughs> uh, one three one zero four eight. 131048 is the transfer order number. So first we will now ship the transfer order. Then later on we will now ship the sales order. 131048 is the one. And then click on search. It's now coming and go to, go to the actions and then go to launch pick release. So the pick release is going to do pick release as far as pick confirmation together. If you want to do it separately, we can do it in too many ways. Now. In too many ways we can do it now. Now the pick release is going to do, it will now bring it to the staging area. So how and all we can do it, I'll not see now. If you want to stop the pick release and then pick confirmation, you want to do it manually, right click and then duplicate. So we have option here. <clears throat> now go to this place. You go to the, this place, click on it. You go to the setup and maintenance and then you go to manage inventory org. So we have a parameters now, click on it. Now go to that, what's called. <coughs> click on search now. It's a manage inventory org. The manage inventory org. So go to the manage inventory organization. Here. Click on it. No query your organization now. So no query either uh, 001 or 002. No, uh, no shipping from 001 now. So click on search now. So it's not, uh, it's the organization code actually. 001, not the name actually. Name is Seattle actually. So click on search. The name is Seattle. I'm not going to query find for that. Click on it and then click on it. So here, if you go there and then go to the next now. Is going to edit this now. I'm going to click on next now. So we go to the next now. So in the next, we go there. And then here, you go to this area now. <clears throat> it will now come into the organization parameters area. You go to the item sourcing details. And then here, if you put a tick mark on pick confirmation required, the pick confirmation will be manual actually. It will be released to warehouse. All the picking will be released to warehouse if you put a tick mark on this. One. <clears throat> so this one. And then automatically populate also we can do it now. So this and this will be having a similar one. So this is the one way of manual pick confirmation. The other way of manual pick confirmation is what? You go there, click on the now. And then here, if you go to this area, click on the now. <clears throat> and then go there. I will now go to the shipping. I will now go to the supply chain execution and then go to the inventory. And then instead of doing in this fashion, now, if I go to the shipments now, and then here, you know, click on create pick wave. Instead of going to manage shipments there, if you give a pick release, it will be picking and then it will be confirming also. Pick release as well as pick confirmation are together in this place now. But if you want to manually stop, you can go to the create pick wave. So click on create pick wave. So here, you can now do the pick wave from here. So create pick wave. There you have the option of stopping the pick confirmation automatically. So you go to the show more now. The show more, we can fill up everything and go the click on it. So, here I will now say if I don't provide something now, fine, somewhere it will be there actually. I forgot that. Fine. Uh, afterwards, click on options now, fine. click on options again, show more, and then afterwards, click on options now. Here, uh, auto confirm picks. If you put it, then only it will now do the pick, pick confirm now. If you remove the stick mark, it is a manual pick confirmation. Remember. The pick confirmation is manual. So, pick confirmation can be made manual either on the create pick way. Or otherwise on the organization parameters actually. On the organization parameters, if you say pick confirmation required, <coughs> so the pick confirm becomes manual. In some companies, they won't do it manually only. So you can even do this. There is no case now. Both of them are not selected, and so you will now go there, click on it now. Uh, you will now go to this place, click on it now. And then here, uh, where is the one now? You go to the manage shipments now. I go there. So give a save and close now, it would have been staged actually. It would have been staged because we have the content now. It's not staged actually. So staged has come now. I go there, click on it. And then afterwards, we come over there now. So it's no dance stage now. So this quantity is now staged. We'll now click on the shipment number and then we'll now perform a ship confirmation. Now, this is now staged. And then if you go into the transfer order area now, find the manage supply lines. Here, if you go and then click on it, if you click on refresh now, and there will be any update or not, we'll now see now. So in the orchestration plan, if you see, we'll be having an orchestration plan. Fine. Up to completion, fulfillment will be coming now. Fine. Click on the transfers now. Ah, oh, it's not working. Fine. Click on refresh now. <coughs> You know, got stuck actually. So go there, not working at all. 
the orchestration plan it has to go now and the screen is not working at all sometimes the screen is getting stuck like that you can't done and again requery it now oh it is not at all working the manual supply orchestration itself is not okay so go to the manual reservations okay fine if you give a course called requery on this now fine 20 quantities are now thank you can search now no see is already picked thank you so the moment i ship it i think probably this will not uh, go away no no it is a sales order reservation itself so it will not go away because upon send ship and advise the reservation has to go now it will not go away because it's there actually no that you want my item one is okay right on the now so it's not done nine nine uh, now it will not come down by 20 quantities no it's not come down and only when you ship it the quantities will come down now so click on search now fine only when you ship it the quantities will come down okay right? so sub unit staging is there fine 9977 this sub unit is got this much this much general called this one okay right? so it is orders so they are now showing on this now so go to the manage transfer orders and then here you click on done and then requery it is not at ship and so the requested quantities only will not show you it's not a ship fine go that one again click on the view ship and receipts only the requested quantity will not show you there's not ship so let us go there and then ship it now and click on the manage ship and then i will not click on what this one so you are now come inside and then click on the ship confirmation so on the shipment number 51201 i am going to wait the warning is there on the wait and warning you can ignore it fine click on yes so by which it is not shipped from bombay to madras now and on so it is not shipped and then the concurrent will be running the send ship and advice concurrent will be running and upon completion of this you can now see that the sales order will be updated the transfer order also will be updated everywhere the update will be coming up. so send ship and advice is responsible for communicating your shipment into order entry actually and then go there so it is equivalent to its so click on it and then you know see this number go there you send ship and advice will be coming up. ship confirmation sent ship and advice is running <clears throat> so in the meantime what happens you go there and then open up again the supply orchestration area now you go there so go to the supply chain execution and then you go to the supply orchestration and then query on this supply number now click on it now go to the manage shipment lines and then paste it over here now and then give it tab and then requery because that screen is not working you go there so click on this now you know see this now so no showing up and you go Then click on this one. So the execution document is not coming. The shipment document is not coming. So I click on the orchestration plan. It will not show you the orchestration plan. It is not transferred. It is not reserved. My interoc shipment has happened actually. Interoc shipment has happened, and so it is not shipped. No, the status has got changed to shipped actually. It is not shipped. Now you have to receive it in the destination order. You have to receive it in the destination order. So it is not showing you. And then if you go there and then have a look at the management order, they are not shipped. It will not come. Click on done, and then come out of it. And then make a query now. I click on it, and then click on the view ship and then just you can now see that this is not shipped. Now. So we have to receive it and then deliver it. Now. So once you deliver it, the transfer order activity gets completed upon receiving and delivering it. We'll go there. So we have to now receive it now. Find that one. So this is the transfer order number. Find that one. One process and then this is ship and line. There's no ship. So give a what's called close now. Find cancel it out. Now it will be interfaced also. That only will be uh, going to interface now. So we will now receive it now. Find go that click on it in this place. We are going to receive it. And go to the supply chain execution and then go to the inventory now. So on the destination zero zero two we are going to receive it. So zero zero one to zero zero two is the way in which we are now perform the transfer order. Find on it. We are now going to receive it. So click on it and then here we'll now go to the receipts. We are going to receive it on the destination order. Click on the receive expected shipments. And then here we are going to put the uh, transfer order number one zero and then give a tab now. So it's one three or what? Is one three something like that? No, one three. And then make a search now. I forgot the number. Okay, go there and have a look now. Ah, <coughs> uh, where is the transfer order? So one three one zero four eight. One three one zero four eight now. <coughs> go there. One three one zero. One three one zero four eight is the number. Now go there. Click on it. Ah, it's not coming. Come on, what happened? Oh, I am in the wrong order. I have to be on the correct order. So this is the source order. Let me change it to destination order. Zero zero two is the one. Click on OK. Which you don't come to is the one. Zero zero two. Now we go there and then click on it and then we are going to have a look at it. Click on receive expected shipments. One zero one three four eight. One three one zero. Transfer order is one three and then give a tap. One three one zero four eight is now coming automatically. Go there. Click on search now. We are going to receive it now. One three one zero four eight. Click on it. We now click on receive now. So upon receive gate receive nothing gets updated now. Only upon put away it gets updated. Go there. So gate receive click on create now. Gate receive nothing gets updated. Uh, you must enter the quantity. Go there. So show receive quantity. Twenty will be there now. Click on it. So we are now making it. Click on create receive. We are now going to make a receive now. 
So click on submit by which it is now getting completed now. So go there. 60054 is the result number and then we will not deliver it also. Only upon put away, everything gets completed. And then go there. Click on it. 60054 is the one. We will not put away this now. 60054. 60054 is the one. So 60054 and then click on search now. It will be coming. So select it and then give a put away. So upon put away, it will be all be updated now. If I click on it, now go to put away. I click on put away. Mm -hmm. I will not put the sub inventory. The sub inventory also I had to put it now. I go there. Click on it. I'm now making it as a stores now. So I click on submit, by which we are done it now. <clears throat> so it's not done. The put away transaction is completed. This will be updated on your transfer orders as well as in your score order also. So if you go to the manage transfer orders now, fine. the last activity is also receive will be updated. Fine. Here receiving, receiving is getting updated now. I click on that now. So you go there. So click on it and then select and then click on the view shipment and receipts. This gets completed now. Fine. It's not received and delivered. Now you can see the score getting updated now. Click on it. You will now go to the, uh, this area and then here you will now refresh it. So the put away, the tick mark will be coming. It's fine. It is now shipped and then click on refresh now. It is now shipped. My inventory is available now. It is now coming as inventory is available. It is now put away. So if you go to the sales orders, fine. Go there, click on it and then go to the manage orders. And then here you can now see this is also will be saying awaiting supply. It will now go to what goods available. There it is now saying inventory available. And click on refresh now. So now it will now say goods available. So goods are available. Now we can very well ship this product. We are going to ship it. So initially we shipped the transfer order. Now we are going to ship the sales order. So 97370 is the one. So let us now ship the sales order. So go there. The put away transaction is not complete. So here we will now ship the sales order. So click on it now. And then here you go there. And then go to the supply chain execution. And then here you go to the inventory management. So in the inventory management, we will now ship the sales order. So go to this place and then go to the shipments now. And then here, go to the manage shipment lines. And then here, I will now ship the sales order. So the sales order number is what? 97370. 97370 is the one. Is that 97370? So you are now putting the order number now. Uh, click on search now. Oh, I given today. So today and the next seven days. The Baker one, they have to remove this now. Fine. I don't know why they have kept this additional column. There's no null at all. So there. I, there's no reason for doing such a thing. I, I get irritated on this. Good actions and go to pick release now. Yeah, no, picking release now. So both the pick release as well as the pick confirmation process are not triggered. So they will all be getting completed normally. So click on second close now. And then here. Once when it is staged in EBIS, it will be communicating to order entry also that is staged. It's picked actually. It will be saying that it's picked. Here it is not updating it at all. In this place, it is not updating it at all. If you refresh it, it will not see still say only awaiting shipping now. Whereas in EBIS, upon picking, it will not say it's picked or picked partial. So that, that update is coming. Here, that maybe if you run a concurrent or something like that, I think probably it will not. Happen. So Vignesh make an R and D. So sometimes what happens, you will not pick and then you will not perform a ship confirmation because you may be waiting for a customer's a part payment or something like that. So you picked it there, but you will not ship it because of some waiting. And then in this case, can we make the update on the sales order to picked or something like that? Fine by running a concurrent or not. So Vignesh make an R and D and then tell us. Okay, Vignesh. Yeah. Okay, sir. And that one uh, you just make an audience. So it's not done. Now let us now perform the ship confirmation. So it's not done. Click on it. Go this place. So we will now perform the ship confirmation. So we close now. <coughs> so click on it. Now it's now stage fine. Click on it. No. Ship confirm the order. So first one is a transfer order ship and pick pick and ship. And then now the sales order pick and ship is now happening. And click on ship confirmation. So we are ship confirming it. It is not. Uh, it's not shipped, and then you can now see on the monitor process the send shipment advice has to know. So, the previously the send shipment advice has interfaced it to your organization now. Yeah, that is the destination org, it has now sent this now. Now, it will now be interfacing it to uh, your sales order now. So, the send shipment advice is equivalent to ITS, it will be either interfacing it to your destination inventory org, or otherwise, it will now be interfacing it to the sales orders level. So, it is not shipped, and so here the the, your score will be getting fulfilled actually. The score will not get fulfilled. Now go to the score and find click on it. The score is here. There is a score. So go to this place. Now is a score here. So if you click on refresh, what happens? The fulfillment will get completed and no fulfilled. So this is now got fulfilled actually. Score has got fulfilled. <coughs> All the activities are complete. 
So the do will not get complete the moment you run the uh, import auto invoice and then close the line. Once when the line is closed. So the do will not begin upon submitting it. So once when the sales order is completed, the do begins and then the do ends upon closing the sales order. Right? The do will be once when the line is closed, the do gets the end now. Right? The other do gets end from a, what's called a, from an order management perspective. It has successfully created an invoice now. So once when it's created an invoice, then it is an activity of AR to process it further actually. The do is now complete actually. So, it's what it is. so this activity of all these things are coming. You can now see the execution documents over there now. Oh God, I want to see one of the reservation on this now, right? Uh, the reservation of whether the 20 quantities has got reserved or not. I, I, before ship confirmation, I want to see it. I forgot on that actually. You'll now go to the manager reservations and then see now, right? The reservation might have got relieved actually because there's no ship confirmation. Manager reservations. You go on and search for it now. The reservation might have got relieved. You click on search now. Go there. So the 20 is not showing you, is not showing us a back to back also. And then uh, the reservations is not showing you, the transfer order reservation only is showing you, actually. not the sales order reservation. Actually. So, in fact, what happens, it will be showing you in a very perfect manner, actually. Uh, okay. <clears throat> this is the area where you can uh, think of uh, whatever they're doing a small RD on this now. Reservations and picks will be shown over here. So, go to the sales orders. And then here, if you go there, click on this now, and manage orders. And then click on refresh by which it will be getting refreshed. Now, waiting shipping, it is now going to waiting billing actually. Then, once when you run the order invoice, order invoice is not running because I'm not creating one more structure because of which I'm unable to run actually on this vision and so on. So, this completes a back to back operation actually. Now, we'll now see the attributes and then other, other setups. Now, we'll have a look at the attributes and other setups. So, if you go there and then have a look at it. So, if you go to the product management, and then go to the product information management. Now have a look at this item. So now go to the browse items and then look at the item. Now. Item is K99 for B. And then click on search. Now. It's a back to back transfer actually. Another transfer. So let me query on the back to back transfer of the master org now. So go to the specifications. I'm going to click on the specifications and then here you go to the sales and order management. So here I made only two changes now. I'm going to click on it. The back-to-back -back has been enabled this. And then I have ensured that the internally transferable and then the transfer order enabled. This is an item defining attribute. This is a status attribute. So these two things are on actually. So the internal transferable as well as transfer order enabled is on now. And then afterwards I went to the purchasing and then I gave a list price. Now, list price is not required. That's okay. And then in the manufacturing built-in whip must be on. Fine. For a back-to-back -back operation, build, building, build, even if it is no, it's working actually. Fine. Uh, this is not a prerequisite for this now. Even building whip is, uh, even if it is no, it's working actually. But the only prerequisite is what? I thought that this is a prerequisite, but it looks so, it's not so. And go there, click on it. And then here, whatever. The only thing is the back to back must be enabled as this. So once when the back to back is enabled, the reservation will not happen at all. The reservation will not happen at all. It will not check for the reservation at all. So this is one thing. And then afterwards, I will now show you one more item where you wanted to process it like a EBIS now. In EBIS, it doesn't check for the reservation. If you want to do it, what you have to do, I'll do it. So we have one more item. So that also will not see this now. We have one more item on this K99 G. GOP ship I made it. So if you do not want to check for the reservation, now you simply create an item. Now. In this place, we are going to create an item. And then the GOP setups must be complete now. The GOP setup must be complete. Fine. Click on the specifications here. I make only one change on this item. This is how many companies operate. So if you make a back to back as yes, it will not check the, the generic process, the, the do generic process will not check for the reservation at all. No, back to back is this. But we are not really processing as a back to back. Remember, back to back means what? You are going to buy receive and ship or make receive and ship or transfer receive and ship. So if you set it up and then you don't set up any sourcing rule, then what happens? It will now behave like a EBS actually. It will now behave like a EBS. So these are the two attributes fine on this thing. You go there, click on it. You will now go on and have a look at the sourcing rules. Click on the sourcing rules. And click on the no. You'll now go to this place, order management, and then have a look at it. So you go to the order management and then go to the global order promising and then have a look at the sourcing rule, which you are creating for this now. So you go there, click on it. I'll now go to the manage sourcing rules. So go to the manage sourcing rules. And then here you can see this. So it's a key, 99, and then entry now. And then the one I click on it. Before which uh, I will not show the sourcing and then I'll go there. And then here I will not edit it now. I click on edit now. So 
So if you see this now, this sourcing rule, the transfer from 0, 0, 001, fine. It is basically a local sourcing rule, remember. It is a local sourcing rule. Whereas for buy, it must be global. For a buy, it must be global. And then for a transfer, it must be local, remember. Fine. The transfer will be local. And then there are three options for the local, fine, transfer, make and buy. So when we worked on buy also with the local, it was giving some issue actually. Then uh, we raised the SR and then they told that for a buy, you preferably go for uh, global actually. That's what they told me. And then afterwards, buy, we are now using only this. And I don't know what is the local buy actually. For a transfer and make, it must be local. And then uh, buy local means what? I don't understand. I don't know. Fine. You have to go through the document. Okay. So it's a transfer. And then you're going to transfer it from 001, the from R. And then we are currently working on 002. So this org is a destination org, the top. And then this is a source org. So this is what they have. And then for this, I have now used the category root actually. I use the category root. So uh, one more problem on the category, I will tell you fine because I think on it. I will not duplicate it now. So here there is a what's called a mistake here now. There is a mistake here. So if you go on then query your item now, fine, go to the product management, and then you go to the product information management. So this time I have processed it by a category actually. Click on it now. So here I go there, go to the browse items and then query this item now. So item is starting in what? The K99 underscore B. So B to B. B to B. And then click on search now. We'll be having this transfer. So if you go and then have a look at it, this item. I created a category K99 computers and then I go to the categories. I am unable to assign it to the planning area at all. So I manually changed it actually. So we can even make it as a default category, but here. There is one mistake which people have made now. Fine. It is not accepting it at all. Fine. If you want to make it as a default category, I only have to go on and manually change it. So here on the default category, there is a mistake actually. I will not show you. <clears throat> there is a mistake here now. Fine. Click on it. And then here, if you go to this place, and then I will now go to manage functional area catalogs. Click on set up and maintenance. So the planning catalog must be or controlled and not master controlled. Fine, that is a mistake actually. And click on search now. Go there. It's a manage and then functional area catalogs. Functional catalogs. Continue. So we go to the manage functional area catalogs. Here, if you go and then see the planning one, go there, click on it. I will now go and then query the plan. So the planning catalog. So if the planning catalog, what they have done is they have made it as a master control log, and that is not correct at all. If you go to the category level, and then here, if you want to change my default category, it must be or control. This is the only one which needs or control. The remaining are all master control. If you go there and then drop it up, if you make a change, it will not allow it all. Go there, click on save now, it will not allow. It must be or control. So the catalog planning must be organization controlled for the functional area planning. Only for the planning, remember, you have to create it as a what's called your uh, or control now. Now I will not show you on our uh, on our instance now. Click on it. On our instance, it will allow you now. Click on it. Then I'll go to the call ID login now. So there it has been made correctly. So if you go there, I'm gonna have a look at it now. So remember when you are making a planning uh, one, if you want to make a change of the default, then only. Otherwise, there is no problem at all. If you want to change the default category, then only it will be a problem. And if you don't want to change, then you can accept it. And then at the item level, you have to make a change now. I create a catalog, a category. And the, for the planning, and then afterwards, I made a change on the item level. Click on it. We go there. Go to the search now. So I will now say manage functional kata. So manage functional area catalog. So go there. And then have a look at the planning now. So here, the thing you have to see now, find here, what is the thing for planning actually? Uh, planning, any specific thing? Yeah, this is the planning. So the catalog name is what? K02 catalog. Fine, click on it now. That is for the planning functional area. If you go on then have a look at it. So here, you go there. <clears throat> and then here, go over there. Click on it now. Then in this place, whatever this is org control. So if it is org control, it will allow you to change the default category. And then when our item is created, what happens? It will be coming over there. I'll go there. So I'll now make a change to what? Something else. So K02 catalog, I'll now make a change. And then click on save, it will accept it. So if you want to change the default category, it must be org control. Otherwise, master control is okay. My only thing is, uh, every new item which is created for the planning area, it will now assign this catalog automatically, this category automatically. This category will be assigned here. So, apart from that, there is no much of a, what happens, a difference on this now. Click on that now. So, I will now log out of this now. So, click on control. So, this is where, uh, this is now completed now. So, it's all completed. 
ஒரு <coughs> what i did is i go to this place i will not go to the global promising area i will not go to the manage atp zone so i have not k99 computers now if you go there click on it now i will not query on the k99 the manage atp rules here i have not created a what's called a category level now click on it and the atp zone go there so if you go to the atp assignments you cannot assign it to a category so i have not assigned a category and not to btp transfer now i have not made item organization now item organizations is a top most priority but if you have 100000 items how to enter it now you don't have any mbd template at all remember mbd template is not there so we had to use the category route is the best route now and many implementations go via category only right? so but here again you have to minimize the number of categories if you have a very huge amount of categories then also it will not work properly at all so this is the one you have to do it now so in this place you have to do it now. and then for the gop item if i go that click on i go there so for the gop item uh, i might have made one thing one second click on search now i it was i made a made on g01 find a01 so for the item which is having a back to back one find was this item which is having a back to back so here also we can assign it on a category basis all the item which are back to back enabled we can even make assign so one assignment on the atp rules a must this is basically for infinite find you know this is not a infinite remember it is basically a supply chain balancing it and then when the item is back to back enabled infinite will not work at all remember when item is back to back you have to have either a lead time based or a supply chain availability based one of these two things must be selected then only the back to back item can be uh, you can go for the manage atp rules and here whatever the source the source the, the, the demand the supply source and demand source here so and then here uh, is a one which is a gray area for you right? so this area has to be filled up and that called and then here we can even go for a category level also i have not put an item level we can even put a specific category for i think and then all the category will be considered for your gop activity actually so this is the only one for the 99 gop ship there is no sourcing rule at all remember there is no sourcing rule at all so only for the transfer we have a local sourcing and then here there is no sourcing at all for the gop ship thank you kondam and then here we go there and then I click on it and then you know go to the assignment set now find the click on manage assignment set now so manage assignment set i think here i have used the a01 actually a01 <coughs> and then click on edit now so here i have not done for this particular item now fine for btp buy i have not put the item item also it is a item organization level again here also we can go for a category level and here also we can go for a category level if it's a huge actually if there are more items there whatever you can go for category organization that is what my student suggest now my student told me don't go for a simple categories sir but go for a category organization that is more appropriate now. that is the category organization is the region is there category organization is excellent one this is the one so it is what am i the highest priority is item organization it comes as a next highest priority so go for a category organization for the assignment set actually fine go there and then here i have not put the sourcing rule for this one so here i have not put item and then back to back and then here i'll not say the global i choose an interface for the global buy that is the buy and then here for the transfer now fine go there click on it for the transfer i have used the category rule remember category organization i have used it and now i have put the category over here and then there is no btp transfer item at all so you go there is a category level i said category level so on the category i put it there was a planning category this category is a planning category and then go there and then i put the transfer so i have no use this this transfer order this is basically local rule it is going to transfer from 001 to 002 and then finally the global one will not ship it to the customer actually the global one here you can even have multiple organizations listed over here with the rank 1 rank 2 rank 3 and code and then that will not ship it so on the gop route there must be a complete path which has been designed then only it will not say whether it is in stock or out of stock actually it will not say in stock or out of stock okay fine so this way we have configured the back to back transfer actually the back to back transfer has been done now we will not come to the gop item now fine that is now we is a, similar to ebus now fine so if it is similar to ebus so here on the back to back the gop ship 
I have not assigned it. I have not done anything on the assignment set. If you go there, nothing has been done for the geo ship at all. Right? Only a global ship is available. Right? We don't have any category level or item organization level. Nothing is there for the geo ship. Right? So there is only one manage ATP is the only thing which I have done now. Mm -hmm. Only in the manage ATP I have done it. So here I have added it now. One A zero one. I have added it. Only on a manage ATP loop you can add it, and then you can even use a category level. Right? Instead of item level, we can even very well use it at category level. Also. Go there, this place. We can even put some categories on that. We can assign the categories. So entire category will now become eligible for a supply chain balancing actually. GOP is going to balance supply chain. So instead of item organization, we can even use a category rule. Category we can use. So the least priority, we can use it now. So here you have to have what? This supply chain balancing. So we can even use it. I have not used it. I have used item or not. So the best practice is what? Use a category level for this one. For a no sourcing rule GOP item. Now we'll now go on and have a look at the stock. Right? Click on it. We'll now go on and have a look at it. Click on it now. Go there. We'll now have a look at the stock. We go to the supply chain execution and then I go to the inventory management now. We'll now have a look at the stock on 002. Click on it. I will now change the organization now. We'll now go to the inventory and then click on the manage item quantities and then have a look at it. On 002 is okay. Fine. Go there. So is a K99 underscore G and then give a tab now. The item. Go there. Click on ship now. Search. So is the one. Fine, go there. So click on search now. Fine. We don't have any stock at all because I already reserved everything. So let us now keep a stock on this on that. What happens? We'll now run the real-time updates and then we'll go there. So we'll now go and then keep a stock. Click on it. We'll now go to that what's called create miscellaneous transaction. We'll now keep a hundred now. So go there, drop it down, and then we'll now make a miscellaneous receipt. And then we'll now populate an account over there now. Remember, inventory valuation must be set, then only what happens, we can do it now. So click on OK and then here. I don't know the combination cannot be used. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to search for it now. And then choose any combinations we can. And then make it as yes now. So for the GOP ship, let us not keep a stock now. Click on plus now. Let us not keep a stock. So I don't say K99 underscore G and then give a tab now. So it's not having a zero stock. So I don't have a hundred stock. I click on it. I will not go to the stores. And then I will not put hundred cost. So now we will now run a real time supply update so that what happened the sales order can shift and uh, since it actually fine click on submit now. Don't go there. So it's not done. We will now run a concurrent called real time supply update now. And go to this place and then click on submit a new process. We can, as Malcolm was saying, we can even run it as a SRS also. Oh, this screen is now got locked now. Fine. So, so many problems on this now. So I will now right click and then duplicate. Fine. This has now got locked. It's not working at all. Go there. So click on the tools and then you go to the schedule to process and then we'll now run the supply update concurrent. So we'll now go to the schedule new process and then we'll now run the supply update now. Fine. Uh, uh, start real time supply. Start real time supply update. Start real real time supply update. Click on OK now. So we are now what 100 quantities that will be uh, informed to the what's called your planning area now. Fine. The GOP, the order management will now sense. So we can even run this concurrent on a, on a SRS basis whenever there is a change in the supply. What happens if you get me? It will not complete and find that. We will not make a sales order for this. Click on it. We will not make a sales order. Click on it. So we will not make a sales order for this. We have 100 quantities now. Click on it. And then we are going to make a sales order. So this will be exactly similar to what we have in eBiz now. eBiz does not check any reservation. And then here also, if you make the back to back as yes, and then uh, if you do it, it will not, it will not check the reservation at all. Click on it. You know, go there. Drop down. And then go there. I click on yours one. This is it. And then I will now put the customer over here now. Comp is a customer. I will now populate my item over here. It's a K99 underscore G and then give a tab. So we have 100 quantities. It will now say it's in stock actually. If now the default quantity will be one now. And then it will now say it's in stock. Oh God, there's no showing out of stock. That means what? We have to log out and log in now. Right? That's to show me as in stock now. Fine, not coming. So cancel and then we have to log out and log in. Some of the activities it needs a, a log out and log in. Go to the sign out and sign in. Some activities need the sign out and then then only it will not the stock actually. I click on confirm now. And then click on sign in. Go there, go to the order management, and then you go to the order management, and then you know go and then create it now. Then click and create order. So go there. And then Choose the years one business unit for them. I will not become customer over here now. Computer service and details. And then now you go there. It's a K99 underscore G and then give a tab now. 
It has to say is stop now. Oh God, it's still showing out of stop. It's not sending the stop at all. Now, uh, if it go for let's say 200 quantities now, it will not show the inventory availability actually. It's not showing me out of stock. It's not showing you. I don't know it. So uh, the monitor process it is not. What happened? Now? The real time update is not exactly done now. Uh, we are not. We are exactly done now. In this monitor process we are done now. Go that one now. The start real time update has not really worked actually. It has to work. It's not working. So click on tools now. Now why why did it complete in morning? Huh? Ah, it, 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 morning. I don't know what is it now. Right? Some morning has come now. It is now ended up in a warning actually. This process, I don't know. You know, see the warning is in fact, click on it now. You know, see there is no end in the morning. You go to click on it now. Click on it now. How look at it? Why it is ended in the morning now? So click on show now. The morning message, oh God, it's a big message. Now. Copy it. Put the word document in the series now. Running get min max min end this so, so no supply updates man. There is it is not updated anything at all. I don't know why it's so. The supply updates has never happened at all because it's not having any parameters. Now we don't see any parameters there for this now for this concurrent. I don't know. She comes to the new process. Let us not see whether start real time. Not real time updates now. It is not run yet. Let us see. S T A R T real. Not having any parameters. Okay. So it's no parameter at all. I click on submit now. No submit it. So it is not have to end in a proper manner. So it will not show you how much the inventory is available, also, it will not show you actually. If you run it properly, now it has completed now. Let us not make a new sales order and you will cancel now. Let us not make a new sales order. Now it has completed now. Properly. So click on create order. Now go here. So US one. And then computer services and middle now. Go there. Click on it. So now go to K99 underscore G and then give a tab now. It has to show me as in stock. Oh God, it's against me on a stock. Maybe I may have to uh, log out and log in because when I run it, we will not run it. Once again, uh, log out and log in and then see. Otherwise, we will not proceed out of this now. Sign out and sign in now. Some transactions we need it. I guess. So click on sign out and sign in. But then we will not see this time it goes properly or not. So I will not go to the order management area and then go to the order management and then get a sales order. Drop it down and then choose it now. This is one business unit and then it is a computer services and rentals now. Click on it. Go there. I will put the item over here now. K99 underscore G and then you tap. The global order music is again not sensing at all. It's okay. Fine. So we have a hundred stock there and then we will now go for 200 quantities. It will immediately say how much is available also. If you say this now, it will not say how much is available over here now. And that will be coming properly. So it's not coming fine with that. So this is almost like a e -biz now. So here the distributed order orchestration will not check the stock and then it will not progress as such. I will not, know. I will not say I'm not going to ship it from 00, zero to all the supply. And then here I'm not putting the warehouse as 00. zero. So you give a save now fine with that. Click on submit now. So we are submitting it actually. So we have a stock of only 100 and then we want 200 now, fine. No problem, it will not coolly get interface to shipping execution now. Because now the this thing will not come. I wait for the refresh, it will not go to processing actually. So the do will not stop it because there is no quantity at all. Click on it. And then here, go there and then have a little bit now. It. Since it is a back-to-back -back enabled item, so after the scheduling, there will not be any reservation, it will be a request supply actually. If you click on refresh, it will be a record supply. So many companies operate on many of the items only on this route, which is equivalent to EBS actually. It's not scheduled. The reserve will not change the request supply. I click on refresh. It will change the request supply. The request supply request is now complete. And then here, click on refresh now. The pass will also get completed now. So the pass will also get completed. And then afterwards, it will now go to awaiting shipping. It will get interface to shipping execution now. So this will not practically check anything at all. 
it will not check anything. So whenever it comes as a waiting, what happens? You have to run this concurrent now. Right? So sometimes it comes as a waiting now. Uh, and I don't know why, because now here we are not able to see when the stock now finds there is some mistake on the real time update actually. So because of which it is not coming. So let me know, release the past task now. So go to the studies and then let me know, release the past task. Because that has not properly happened now. The real time supply update is not coming. We have to begin correct and refresh maybe. My release past task. Let me see whether it works or not. Because there is some mistake somewhere. So release past task. I will now be releasing it on the on the order number now. Fine, because I click on the order number, I do it. So it is now waiting now. So 97371 is the one. So 97371 is the one. Fine, because I click on it and I go to submit it now. So submit it. So click on OK now. Fine, submit it. And then once upon completion, it will be, this is OK. This real time past is OK. It's OK. Fine. It will now, it will now be updating it. Now. So once it is completed, it will be running on this now. So if you go to the manage orders and the refresh, it will now start to run. It will now start to run. It will be going to complete it now. So click on refresh now. So the past task, release past task will be now. It is not completed. But if you are not clearing the reason for the past task, it will not get stuck somewhere else. The past is now past. But if you are simply running the real uh, release past task, will not help you at all. If there is a problem because of which it has got past, it will not get stuck somewhere else. Now it has been interfaced to what you are awaiting shipping. And go there. So we will not go on that, right click on the duplicate. We will not try to ship the product. We have an availability of only 100 now. So here we can even see the availability. If I click on the fulfillment lines here, the check availability will work only for the GOP items. This will only work for the back to back as enabled SS in the GOP license there. This only will work. Fine. click on check availability. It will not show you the available quantity here. In where and all, which and all warehouse it is available, it will not show you. It's an excellent option, fulfillment line promising distribution. It will not show you. Fine. Uh, where it is not showing you, total fulfillment. Cost is not showing you, total margin is showing you. What about the availability? Fine, there are so many graphs on this now. Availability options exactly expand it and then you can see. There are plenty of options for you to see now. Fine. So, where and all you can fulfill, it will not show you a lot of things on this item availability, current date. So, it is saying what 1000 yep. What is this? 1000 yep. Atlanta. What is this? The quantity actually. So, it is not showing you quantity of 1000 yep. I don't know what is it. What is it now? In Atlanta, we have this much of a quantity now. This is a shipping org actually. Something it is not, I'm not able to understand this one thing. So try to analyze on the check availability. Check availability is a one which is available only for the GOP based items. Otherwise, it will not be possible. So analytics option fine is now getting delayed. It is not saying it is not going to be delayed. So the fulfillment cost is not showing you, and then it has not started. So many information it will not give you. GOP is a very powerful engine. And then it will not give you the expected shipping cost and then source order. All these things is not showing on the availability. If you have got items in the multiple org also, it will not show you actually. It will not available in multiple orgs. It will not show you where and all it will available. So it is not showing you where and all. The warning message is there now. So because of which it is not going. So we can even select an option from where it is available. Available quantity is 200 now. Fine. It is not correct actually. Available quantity is only 100 now. So that uh, real time supply updates is not done properly actually. So it will not say a data a delay of 140 or something like that. This information is not coming. If you have done the refresh, uh, collect and refresh, it will have given me a correct information. It is not saying it is no delay actually. On the check availability screen, it will not give you lots of information and you can even reschedule also basically. I've seen it. But uh, or, 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 or a company or the implementing a company in the Saudi Arabia, they were using this check availability also. They will now reschedule it based upon availability in different, different inventory orgs. It does actually. Go there. Now we'll now go to this place and then here all of them try to ship it now. Fine. The line will now get split actually. You can go there. So if you go to the supply chain execution and then here you go to the inventory management and then you go to the shipping area, the line will now get split actually because we don't have sufficient quantity now. Go there. Go there. So we'll now go to the shipments and then query on the sales order. Now. So it is 97371 now. So 97371. Go to this place. 97371. I'm going to do it now. So go there. The line will now get split in. 9737. The real time update has not run properly. That is the reason that is not coming. Is go there. Come on. Today and the next seven days, 97371 is already interface to shipping now. 97371 is now interface to shipping. If you refresh it, otherwise it's not okay. But it is not visible on the area at all. This place. 97371 is the order number now. Today and the next seven days. I'm going to say uh, before some date now. I'm going to give you. I'm going to give a before and then make a search now. 
tags available that idiotic uh, search is really bad now i don't understand this one. so it's the one ready to release now so click on actions and then go to pick release we are going to pick release now the pick release will not do it now this also some student told me that if you put a before and then give a blank date it will not pick it now is the equivalent to what happens are doing a pick now so in this place you have to give a before and then make a search now one student told me that you make it as a before and then uh, uh, the before and then don't give any date at all it will now definitely pick that's what he said before the blank it will not pick so go to click on search now it will not show you anywhere so it is now what happens uh, Uh, ready to release now <clears throat> go there click on actions and then here we go there and then save and close now and come to the main line now so it is now ready to release 200 quantities in the request quantity so it has to pick 100 now fine go there we have a stock of 100 now come on what happened it is now still ready to release now <laughs> later on i will now make a video on this now fine i will now run a refresh and collect and i will now make a proper one because my refresh and start is not exactly working so this route they use it for many many items where the order management will not stop if there is no quantity at all let the shipping decide that is how the ebiz works so that way it works so this is not exactly working i will now make a small video on this on the ones when it works in saudi arabia 75% of the items are back to back enabled but there is no sourcing rule at all and there will be a global ship actually and it will not show you on the sales order itself what is the current availability if you are asking for more actually it will say if the in available inventory is only 100 and then you are asking for 150 or whatever it is and do you want to proceed it will ask so just like in ebiz also we have a atp check in there in the bottom so likewise it will not show you it's a similar functionality of ebiz i will now make a small video on this now and then i'll show it and because not showing me correctly proper there is some mistake somewhere everywhere some mistake is coming actually that is why it is not even picking actually line is not getting picked actually that's it for the day tomorrow we are going to see a back to back make actually we will now have a look at the back to back make so the complete manufacturing will be said i want to vignesh help now fine so vignesh you must be available tomorrow when i am going to set up manufacturing and then i will now perform this back to back make actually tomorrow yeah okay okay so bye for now and then we will now meet tomorrow for the back to back make okay thank you sir